It's four dozen. Um, they're all they're all about the same size, but they're slightly different. So there's twelve of each size. It happened because back in the early two thousands, I was working with a guy that was uh, an amazing craftsman for windows and doors, all wood windows and doors. That's mm -hmm. all he did. So he was making custom doors for me and, and windows that were getting installed or hung or whatever, but he would even go out and measure and everything would just fit to a T and be perfect. Wow. So I was working with this guy and then one day I said, hey man, you know, do you have a uh, scrap? So I was ordering them one or two dozen at a time and I was making them up whenever I could and, and they were popular, they were selling. So I, I, um, I was having a blast making them. So I came up with four different sizes and I ordered four dozen to mm -hmm. be like backed up because I kept ordering one or two dozen at a time. Yeah. So I ordered four dozen, not even thinking about a series or when I would do them. Or, mm -hmm. So I had it sitting over there in 2005. I came in, I was like, you know, it's like January 2nd. It's like, I'm going to get to work. You know, I got all these jobs I got to do. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> oh, screw that. And I pulled out the one frame. I happened to pull out the, one of the smallest ones. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm making our piece to start off the year. And I had this awesome concept and I made this awesome piece and I just felt so good about it. And as I'm making piece number one, this giant light bulb went off in my head to do all of them as a series. And then I came up with these ideas about how to how to like put parameters on it. Mm -hmm. A lot of stained glass art is parameters, you know, mm -hmm. like you know, they want them installed. Mostly it's architectural art. Right. Or someone wants a you know a scene or a picture. You do a lot of custom work. Mm -hmm. Not as much stained glass. There's sort of more now, but there's people aren't doing it as much as just fine art, where you just truly like cliche the art in your soul gets made into a piece like a painting, mm -hmm. cliche art stuff. So I'm really focused on that a lot. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, but I but parameters. So I, I have this working class glass guy, fine artist guy, and then they kind of meet. So I'm like. Um, I'll do 12 a month and I won't I won't give up on one, get stuck on it and then start the next one. You made yourself finished. I was like, I want 48 complete thoughts. This is pre-Facebook 2005, you know, pre-timeline. Mm -hmm. But this is my timeline. Yeah. Number one, number two. In January, February, March, April, I did 12 uh, a month. It, that feel one good? One at you... a time. And then I titled them. And then the only other parameter I put, it was like 12 a month. Don't give up and do the next one. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about how they work together. Yeah. That was the only parameters I put on them. Uh, I had like three, four guys help me out at the time that I had trained. All these apprentice buddies were helping me out. Mm -hmm. So I had help put them together. But I designed and cut each one. And then they had to have a title concept. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like make an untitled one. I yeah. had to have the idea. And it worked out fantastic.